Hi class, in this lecture here, we wanna now begin talking about proportions and rates and then using those to solve some type of application problem. Okay, so what exactly will we use proportion and rates for? All right, so, so let me set this up with an example. So suppose you wanted to power the city of Seattle, great, great, great city, a lot of fun, a lot of good attractions to see, but so suppose you wanted to power the city of Seattle using wind power. Okay, so this would require uh, you to build a number of wind turbines, right, or windmills. Well, like uh, how many how many windmills or wind turbines would you need to install? Well, it would depend, right? Like how much power does a windmill uh, produce just by itself? And then how much power does Seattle need? And then you would need to figure out the proportion there so that you could figure out exactly how many windmills you would need to, or you know, wind turbine windmills you would need to, to build. So questions like these can be answered using what are, what are called rates and proportion. Okay. So a rate is what exactly a definition of it is. A, a rate is a ratio, right? And a ratio is also a fraction of two quantities, okay? So think about it as um, this, this, this concept of a rate. It's a ratio or fraction. Let me give you a, an example of a ratio, um, a, a ratio or fraction of two quantities, two quantities. So let me give you an example of this, of, of a ratio of two quantities, or rate of two quantities. And you're all used to, you've all seen this before in the real world, but you know, when we, when we get in our car, our cars get a, a number of miles per gallon, right? That, that's, that's a ratio right there, okay, or, or, or a rate. So this per, this miles per gallon tells me that it's miles over gallons. That's how we would write this as a fraction, okay? Now a unit rate is a rate where the denominator is one. So when you hear things like, you know, 16 miles per gallon, that means you're getting 16 miles per one gallon or 35 miles per gallon in a car. You're getting 35 miles per one gallon. That would be a unit rate. All right, then we're gonna use this, expanding on this into what are called proportion equations. So a proportion equation is an equation showing the equivalence, so equivalence meaning equal, of two rates or ratios. So we're gonna look at things like this. When you have A over B is equal to C over D. And we're gonna talk about how you solve equations like this. So later on, solving these. Okay. So let's, bump, let's jump into um, a number of examples here to, 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 to illustrate these, these concepts here. Okay, so we'll start by talking about rates and then we'll, we'll, we'll expand on into proportion equations. Okay, so your car can drive 400 miles on a tank of 25 gallons. So what we want to do is we want to express this as a rate. Okay, so just remember a rate here is going to be a fraction. So our rate here is gonna be miles to gallons. Well, I'm getting 400 miles for 25 gallons. All right, so let's see. Well, what is 400 uh, divided by 25? Let's, let's, let's see, let's plug that in our calculator. Let's we'll see what we get. So 400 divided by 25. Look at it, it's 16. So the rate, the rate that this this car that you're driving, it doesn't get really good gas mileage, but it but you're getting 16 miles per gallon here. Or you can just write this as 16 miles as a division, a gallon, like so. All right, here's another one. Matt, so that would be me, right? Can run. Um, a thousand meters in eight minutes. I really can't do that, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you. So let's express this as a rate. Okay. So so our, my rate here is going to be meters per minutes. You know, as such. And so you're going to take a thousand meters over eight minutes. 
And so, you know, does that, you know, can that simplify it all? And yeah, yeah, let's see, right? So, you know, if you take a thousand divided by eight, you're getting 125. So Matt can run 125 meters per minute because it divides evenly. Okay. So I can also write it as 125 meters and then as a fraction per minute. Just clean that up a little. All right, so that's just simplifying in, in, in writing this as a, as a rate here. All right, so now we're going to take these rates and we're going to talk about them as um, proportion equations now. Right. So I'm going to show you how to solve some proportion equations, and um, uh, then then. Then we're gonna, you know, just some algebra ones first, and then what we'll do is we'll talk about, you know, how you can do some application real world problems here. All right, so here's the algebra problem first. Five over three is equal to x over nine. All right, so you want to solve this algebraic problem, and the way you can solve with fractions is you can do what's called cross multiply. So what you would do first is you would go. This is how you would do the cross. You would go three times x is equal to, and then you would go five times nine. That's where the cross comes in, five times nine. Well, you know, what's five times nine? That's 45. And then to solve for x, you just divide by three. And 45 divided by three gets me 15. And you can check this, right? Like you can take, put 15 back into here, 15 over nine does reduce to 5 thirds. So, so you, you're able to solve it correctly. And now what we want to do is we want to apply this concept of cross multiplying or, or proportion equations to solve some application problems. All right, so here's the problem. You can drive 400 miles on 25 gallons. How far can you drive? So I'm asking you to, to solve for how far you can drive in miles on 40 gallons. All right, so look, start with the, the ratio you know. You know 400 miles on 25 gallons. It's equal to, you don't know how far, how far you can drive. Okay, so I'm gonna let x be equal to this. On 40 gallons, so it's gonna be x miles over 40 gallons. All right, well look, just just the 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 miles miles gallons gallons here, the 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 units don't necessarily matter right now for solving. So what you can do is you're going to cross multiply. Okay, so 25 times x so you get 25 times x is equal to 400 times 40. All right, well, you know, if you if if you need this, let's grab our calculator. 400 times 40 gets you 16,000. So 25x is equal to 16,000. Now let's divide both sides by 25 and let's see what you get. Six hundred and forty. Ah, wow, so your car can go 640 miles on, on 40 gallons. Let's try this next one. All right, Matt, me can wash 95 cars in, in, in five days. So my ratio, my starting ratio here is I can wash 95 cars in five days. How many cars? So again, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how many cars Matt can, can wash. All right, that's an unknown in 11 days. Ah, uh, okay, so now you can see the pattern, right? You, you can totally see how this is developing. Cross multiply. Five times x is equal to 95 times 11. 
All right, so let's figure out what 95 times 11 is. You get 1,045. All right, let's just divide by five now, right? Just divide by five. Wow, so Matt, turns out Matt, a lot of cars, a lot of cars washing over 11 days. Matt can wash 209 cars in those 11 days. Okay, let's do just let's just do like two last problems. Just so you, I know it's it's going to be a little uh, repetitious here, but but let's just you know make sure we we understand these these equations here. All right, so here's the first one. Matt can jog 18 miles in five hours. I wish that were true. I, I probably I think I would would collapse if I ever ran, tried to run 18 miles. But at this rate, how many miles can Matt jog in four hours? Okay, let's see. So it's 18 miles in five hours. How many miles? So again, I'm looking for miles in four hours. So you can see the pattern, cross multiply, right? Go five times x, 18 times four. Well, let's see what 18 times four is. You get 72. Well, let's divide this now by five. See what we get. 14.4. So it looks like in four hours, if I keep that same rate, if I keep that constant rate, I'm gonna be able to run 14.4 uh, miles. All right, let's try this one. Brenda can deliver 644 newspapers in seven hours. Okay, wow, that's a lot of newspapers. How many newspapers? So again, I'm looking for how many newspapers she can deliver. So that's X. Can she deliver in nine hours? Again, you can see the pattern, cross multiply. Seven times X equals 644 times nine. Well, 644 times nine gets me um, 5,796. It's a lot of newspapers right there. So just now divide by seven, okay? And it looks like in, in, in that time frame, in those looks like nine hours here, Brenda's gonna be able to deliver 828 newspapers. All right, class, I, I hope that helped uh, seeing these examples here. Um, you know, the, 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 this, hopefully the cross multiplying is a little bit of a review, but if not, you know, you, you learned a new technique. And as always, I'm, I'm here to help if you have any questions with any of these problems.